Hi, Senator. Hi. Um, so immigration was arguably arguably the defining issue of the 2016 election. It could very well be the same in 2020. Um, you have previously been a hardliner on immigration. You have supported making uh, declaring English as the official language of the United States, as well as cracking down on sanctuary cities. Uh, when you're running against a xenophobic demagogue like Donald Trump, how can you stand firm with the shaky record that you have on immigration? I have a very strong record on immigration. And for my 10 years in the Senate, I've been fighting very hard for comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway to citizenship. I think immigration is one of the greatest strengths of America. Our diversity has always been our strength. And our immigrant history is very much part of who we are as Americans. Uh, the Statue of Liberty stands in New York Harbor for a reason, as a beacon of light and hope, asking for your tired and your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. And we've never, or at least in our best moments, have not been afraid of immigrants. Um, I think what President Trump is doing is outrageous. I think when he divides uh, children and their parents at the border, it's not only inhumane, but it's contrary to who we are as a country. Uh, as President of the United States, I would not only work to pass comprehensive immigration reform, but I would change entirely what we do at the border. Um, I would make sure that people seeking asylum in this country would have access to real immigration judges and lawyers. Uh, I would make sure uh, that the process was humane, and I would take all of that work, the enforcement and removal operations, and I'd put it out of Homeland Security and put it into the Department of Justice. Uh, we can keep our border safe, and we can invest in border security, but we do not need to treat, treat people in the way President Trump has. So I think part of what Parker is talking about, obviously, is the, the dramatic change in your position right. on this issue over time, right, from English, obviously, as a, as a language, official language of the country, uh, not supporting things like benefits for illegal immigrants. That's part of your record as well. What made you change? Well, when I was a, a member of Congress from upstate New York, um, I was really focused on the priorities of my district. Uh, when I became senator of the entire state, I recognized that some of my views really did need to change. They were not um, thoughtful enough and didn't care enough about people outside of the original um, upstate New York district that I represented. And so I learned. And I, I think for... People who aspire to be president, I think it's really important that you're able to admit when you're wrong and that you're able to grow and learn and listen and be better and be stronger. That is something that Donald Trump is unwilling to do. He is unwilling to listen. He is unwilling to admit when he's wrong. He's actually incapable of it. And I think it's one of the reasons why he is such a cowardly president. So, you know, your background, obviously, you had quite a bit of experience in a lot of really diverse places, right? You you spent a long time working for yes. a law firm in New York City. You went to law school in Los Angeles. You worked for a Democratic administration. So mm -hmm. you were very familiar with immigrant immigrant issues and places with a lot of diversity. Well, I was so always for comprehensive immigration reform, um, but it didn't lead on the issue. And so when I became a senator 10 years ago, I decided this is something I need to lead on. It's something that's really important to my state. My state is so diverse. It's one of the most diverse in the entire country. Country. And so what I've been able to do as senator is bring my whole state together. Not only could I represent the two to one Republican district that I represented, and not only won it twice, the second time with a 24 point margin, but then I turned and represented the whole state and over three elections earned the highest vote total in the history of the state at 72%. Because I'm able by listening, by empathizing, by understanding to represent the entire state. Uh, my vote threshold at 72% is higher than any person who's ever ran statewide, including presidential campaigns. So I'm able to bring the red places, the blue places, and the purple places in my state together, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why I'm running for president. I believe I can bring this country together. I believe that this country is so divided because we have a president who spews hate and division and racism, anti-Semitism, and homophobia in such a way that he's literally tearing apart the moral fabric of this country. He's tearing apart our soul as a nation. And so you need someone who's going to be brave enough to bring this country together, brave enough to take on all the challenges that make it so impossible, that divide us, and have the humility to admit when you're wrong, the humility to understand that this country needs a leader who's not afraid of progress, who's not afraid of taking this country in the direction it needs to go, and someone who's not afraid of the fundamental truth that we are a better country when we care about one another, when we believe in the golden rule, when we treat others the way we want to be treated. And because I did not do that as a House member, I was ashamed. 
And so now as a senator for 10 years, I know I'm in the right place. I know I'm going to defend this country. I know I'm going to fight mm. those immigrant families as hard as I would fight for my own, because I have. I've done it for the last 10 years as senator. All right, so let me... The next question is also related to immigration. And uh, Luz Gonzalez is a student at Montgomery Col College. I know immigration activist. You're also a DACA recipient. Uh, when you came to this country, I know you were very young. You came through uh, no decision of your own uh, when you were a child. Luz. I'm one of thousands of immigrant youth in this country that are protected under DACA status. Mm -hmm. Senator Gillibrand, I was four years old when I moved to the United States. Mm -hmm. I'm now a college student at Montgomery College. I can't imagine being deported to a country that I barely know. But our current immigration system provides no pathway to citizenship to, for me and my family. What would you say to Trump and his supporters to see families like mine deported? First of all, I think the, what President Trump is doing is not only inhumane, but lacks vision and lacks leadership. Um, this is a country that was largely built by immigrants. Immigration and diversity has always been a strength. I would protect the dreamers. I would make sure that dreamers who came to this country would have a pathway to citizenship mm -hmm. so they can finish mm -hmm. their schooling, so they, if they're serving in the military, they can continue to serve, so that they can start families and start businesses. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think it's really important that we recognize that immigration is a strength, and I would lead in that way. I would make sure we pass comprehensive immigration reform in this country.